Good morning. Our entrance antiphon. Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. We pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we begin, we turn to the Lord. We intercede for each other and for our world. And we ask that God's grace and mercy fall upon us all. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. And Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who calls the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever, and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your faith. For we now live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you, for all the joy we feel on your account before our God? Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you. And may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen our hearts to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. The response, fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past or as the watch of the night. Fill us with your Lord. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Alleluia, Alleluia. 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 Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day our Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So to you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put you in charge of all of his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, Oh, my master is long delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day, and at an unknown hour, and will punish him severely, and assign him a place with the hypocrites, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord. From Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, he had only spent a short time there before he was driven out by fellow Jews because of his preaching of Jesus. So he was concerned how the Christians in Thessalonica were doing after his departure. But then, having heard that they maintained their faith, he was pleased and at peace. So in today's first reading, he tells them that in our every distress and affliction, we have been reassured through your faith. Because you stand firm in the Lord, we can now live. Isn't that something that we would feel of our children or grandchildren, you know, through the ups and downs of life, and they persevered in faith? You know, wouldn't we feel joyful and at peace like St. Paul? I think it's touching to see St. Paul, this great saint that we hold in high esteem, being strengthened in faith by his fellow Christians. He was like a father to these newly baptized, and he worried and he cared about their welfare, especially after he was driven out from that place. So you can imagine that amidst the persecution he and the early Christian community faced, to see young believers persevere and hold on to faith, it was very inspiring for him. I get an inkling of what St. Paul feels because for me, seeing you here day after day, gosh, through the pandemic, right? And you were still faithful. You still came to Mass or you still joined us online. Through the loss of a loved one, through sickness, and yet you return. You come to Mass. You persevere in your faith that in turn inspires me. Just as Paul strengthened the faith of the early Christians, but their own faith in turn strengthened his. Together, we repeat what our ancestors in the faith have done. Today, we, may we give thanks to God for the gift of faith and for the gift of each other. Because together, we strengthen each other's faith to help us stand firm in the Lord.
Let us pray. For all who struggle with doubt and faith, that they may find encouragement from the community of faith, we pray to the Lord. For our leaders, that in spite of party differences, they may seek to work for the common good, we pray to the Lord. For the victims of shootings in our streets, for the violence around our world, we pray that the peace of Christ may reign in our lands and in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. For all affected by Hurricane Idalia in Florida, we pray to the Lord. For the sick, we remember Amelia Martin, Brian Lee, Charlie Cunningham, Joshua Boo, Mike O'Connell, and all whom we have promised our prayers. We pray to the Lord. And this Mass is being offered for the repose of the souls of Martha Malmeister, Lourdes Penalosa, and Sister Lillian Repack. So for them, for all who have died, and all who mourn the loss of a loved one, we pray to the Lord. And for your intentions. And so for all of our intentions, we pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, listen to our prayers. Fill us with your love, and we will sing for joy. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray then, my sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Jesus your Son. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy. Holy, 
Holy Lord God of hosts. Our Lord, blessings. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy dear for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the default, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have felt us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember Martha Malmeister, Lourdes Penalosa, Sister Lillian Repack, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who will please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. 
be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Our communion antiphon. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, says the Lord, and I will raise him up on the last day. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ. 
Enjoy this beautiful day.